To write the name for Fe2SO4-3, first thing we have to recognize is this SO4 here. This is called the sulfate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. We actually have three sulfate ions, and they're bonded to these two iron atoms. Iron's a transition metal, so we have a metal here. This metal's bonded to the nonmetals. This is an ionic compound. We can use these rules here to write the name for Fe2SO4-3. So first, let's write the name for the metal, Fe. That's just iron. And then we write the name for the polyatomic ion. SO4, we said that's the sulfate ion. Lowercase s. And so far, we have the name iron sulfate for Fe2SO4-3. But we said that iron is a transition metal. And because of that, we have to take into account the charge on the iron. And the only way we figure that out is by looking at what it's bonded to. So the sulfate ion, the whole sulfate ion, has a charge of 2 minus. So 3 times 2 minus, that's 6 minus. So we need a 6 plus over here with the iron to balance the charge out, to have a net charge of 0. 2 times 3 plus, that would give us 6 plus. So each iron atom has a charge of 3 plus. And we show that in the formula by putting the Roman numeral 3 in parentheses. So the name for Fe2SO4-3 is iron 3 sulfate. If you were given the formula, you'd know that the iron would have to have a 3 plus ionic charge in here. And you know the sulfate is 2 minus. So you need two of these iron atoms at 3 plus each and three sulfate ions at 2 minus each for it to all balance out, give us a net charge of zero. This is Dr. B with the name for iron 3 sulfate. Thanks for watching.